right, so it's well established by now that 2023 was not the best year for Marvel Future Fight. But hey, we're already in 2024. We're going to bounce back this year, right? Right? Well, I hope so. <laughs> but I've got some more concerning, I'm not going to call it bad news, concerning news for you in the meantime. But first, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one, how many characters do you think are left in the game that are not tier three and not transcended, AKA tier two characters? How many tier twos do you think are left in the game? I'll give you a second to think about it. Now I want you to think about something else. Now you have your answer. How many characters got tier three or transcended last year, AKA 2023, the year that we just came out of? And this is really important for essentially the entire premise of today's video and something that I've uh, talked about a lot, but this now really crystallizes it into uh, a very, uh, you know, understandable and digestible format for myself and hopefully for all of you. So if you take a look here, you can see there are 60 tier twos left. And I know that because I have every single character transcended who can be transcended. And I have every single character tier three who can be tier three. I don't have all of them tier four. Not quite the blubberiest whale, but I've I've cleaned out, you know, all of the, the ones that can go past tier two. So we got 60 left. Now, that may seem like a really small number. You're like, Alex, you're really going to sit here and complain when we have just 60 left? I mean, we have 260 characters in the game. So what does that represent? That represents like, uh, you can't do math. Okay, cool. That represents like only a quarter. Well, that's still a lot. A quarter of the characters have are still at tier two. Which, by the way, Tier 2 was only relevant until 2018. So we're coming up in April on the 6-year anniversary of Tier 3 being introduced to the game. It was April 2018. It was, you know, uh, the height of the Infinity War. And they dropped Tier 3 on us like a hot potato. And it was amazing. And I burned myself and I loved every second of it. So yeah, 6 years to, to get all the characters. And... It, <laughs> Spoiler alert, based on the stats I'm about to tell you in this video, they're not going to get the rest of the characters tier two, like out of tier two this year. So that means it's going to take them over six years just to, uh, you know, relocate, like just to upgrade all of the existing characters to the level that they introduced six years ago, which is crazy, right? We already criticized them enough, and rightfully so, for introducing tier four before all of the tier twos were gone. If they continue at this pace, we're going to get tier three or we're going to get tier five way too soon, right? Because here, here's the breakdown for you. With 60 characters left at tier two, which may seem like a small, somewhat insignificant number, the real problem is the pace with which they are upgrading existing characters, aka getting that 60 number down. And you have to couple this fact with the fact that they said that they're going to introduce more new characters this year and they're going to drop an epic quest so basically what i'm trying to say is every time they introduce a new character that takes away in an update from an existing character getting an upgrade what do i mean by that well if they drop a new character that's let's say in the asgard universe right boom they drop a new asgard character everybody's hyped like oh man you dropped whatever the serpent you dropped boar call borson or whatever his name is you dropped odin's brother that's so cool uh, that is really cool, but then one of the existing characters from the Asgard universe that otherwise would have gotten a tier 3 or a transcendence is just left to sit staring at his massive gut, in this case Volstagg. But you get my point. They basically, it, it takes away from the available spots because they only transcend in tier 3 so many characters in a year, right? So here's the problem. How many characters, I asked you at the beginning of the video, how many characters did they tier 3 and transcend last year? Well, the numbers may disturb you. If you take away all of the new characters, like Spot, like Kang, like Kahori, because those don't really count as transcendences in Tier 3s because they're introduced in the same patch that they're Tier 3-able or transcended, so they're not really moving the needle on this list of characters here. So of these, of these characters, how many were basically, you know, moved, upgraded, finally graduated from the Tier 2 Academy? 38. 38 characters and last year was one of the lowest like one of the worst years for new characters uh to be added to the game it was one of the lowest uh you know number of characters you've ever seen added to the game ever and they only managed to tier three and transcend 38 other characters that's insanely low 
That's insanely low. And I expect that number to be lower this year, by the way, because they're going to introduce more new characters. And so again, every time they introduce new characters, take for example, Omega Red. I'm not saying, by the way, I'm not saying that I don't want them to introduce new characters. I'm just showing how this sort of, like these sort of things tag team on each other. So they introduced Omega Red in the Cable and Strife update. That's really cool, right? Awesome character, very nice. They also transcended uh, Domino. But because they introduced Tier 3 Omega Red, there wasn't enough space for the rest of the mutants because they could have easily Tier 3 Phantom X or transcended him or another mutant, for example, right? Because, I mean, Phantom X fits perfectly in with Cable and Domino, but you could just say any mutant for that matter, right? So you kind of see where this is going. If they're introducing more new characters next year than they did this year than they did last year, 2023, then that means that number of 38 is going to drop probably to 30 or less. Which means at their current pace, it's going to take them two years or more. How fucking crazy is that? I'm predicting it's going to take them two years to finish off the remaining 60 tier twos. That's just scary slow. That is like the game is going to be on its 11th year. Are you kidding me? The 11 year anniversary when they get rid of tier two which they introduced like a year into the game. So you're telling me it took you guys a decade? It took you a decade to upgrade and graduate all of the characters from tier two to tier three or transcended. That's insane. And what's even more insane about it is unlike other games that follow a very strict pattern where it's like, you know, SSR, SR, SSR, uh, UR, LR, whatever, right? This game doesn't follow that, that track. There's two fucking options. When you get out of tier two, you have two options. There's two colleges. You can graduate to the college of tier three, or you can graduate to the college of transcendence. It's really that easy. And it's, and that's important to note because tier threes historically are much more difficult and slow to get because of the, the book bottleneck, right? We, we, you know, this bottleneck here. And so having transcended characters, and by the way, they bumped up the transcended materials last year when they introduced World Bo or Alliance Battle Legend. They bumped it up so much that you actually can just purely farm um, and, and, and gain resources and still transcend two to three characters per month. So it's amazing. And they haven't taken advantage of that. So essentially, my thesis is you need to be transcending the, the, the devs, right? The people who make this game. They need to be dropping like five transcended characters per update. I really don't care at this point. I could be wrong here and, and sound off in the comments if you think I'm wrong. But I think at this point, we just need to put tier two behind us. I think they need to release a mini dev note and they need to say, listen, guys, we understand that there are a lot of characters who are tier two and it just kind of sucks that they're just fucking useless, like beyond useless. Right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to like buckshot, you know, we're going to just mass transcend these characters we're still going to reserve some of the more popular ones for tier three right like yeah we're still going to we're still going to want a tier three black cat because we want to keep her in that seasonal track we want to keep dropping those seasonal upgrades for her same thing for anti-man we got a tier three him because he's a rare character same thing for nova because he's um epic quest deluxe pack character right so there's still a few here that are like premium characters whatever that they probably want to tier three instead of transcending but like all these schmoes in between you know Songbird, Yondu, Ronin, Satana, Viper, Mockingbird, Misty Knight, Kid Kaiju, Karnak, Hellcat, Ghost, Fandral. Get all this, just get all this shit out of here. Cassie, just, just buckshot. Boom, 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 boom. Just transcend all these clowns. Get them out of my face. You know, just whittle down the pack. Whittle it down. If they can get down like 40, I mean, shit. If they could just finish off these last 60 this year, that would be amazing. I honestly think they should start doing that. They should start dropping two tier threes per update um, and then two tier threes for the mid month. That's four tier threes. That means in a year they could they could make 40 of these characters tier three because it's 10 updates per month. Um, you know, so it's 10 updates with 10 mid months, right? Uh, every every update cycle. Just get rid of it, man. Just, just, just seriously get rid of this shit. Obviously, again, obviously there's a lot of good characters left here and this is what makes it frustrating. Like I would much rather Gladiator, Gladiator get a tier three because I think he's a really dope character and I think tier three is just a more um, 
you know, it's a bigger upgrade, in my opinion, than Transcendence. I'm not saying it's better than Transcendence. There's certainly some game modes where Transcendence is better, but Tier 3, you know, for certain content tends to um, tends to be a little bit better, right? Again, it, it, it depends on how they rework these characters, and honestly, I don't imagine they're going to rework more than a third of them anyways. Like, I don't expect more than 20 of these 60 to even get uniforms, so I do expect a lot of these to end up like Ulic and Kaecilius and, and Clea just you know, thrown to the dogs until they maybe get some love in the MCU so they get an MCU uniform. But yeah, I think at this point we're kind of, you know, at least my opinion and my stance on it is I'm kind of done with tier twos. I think they just need to get rid of them. Um, players coming into the game six years later, that's just so crazy. Like coming back to the game after Infinity War six years later, I don't, I don't think you would expect to see tier twos in the game still right it's like wow it's been six years like i wonder how much the game has evolved like let's take a look holy shit they're still tier two characters like like what this motherfucker was added like a year ago like cassie was added in february and she's tier two only right don't even get me started on mbaku same kind of thing like that's just crazy to me that's just in that's just insane so that's just that just can't happen anymore and uh, hopefully the devs, uh, you know, smarten up about this because it's it's high time, dude. It's high time. Just just mass, just mass upgrade, mass graduate these characters, and let's get on with it. Just do a Zoom meeting and give them all their graduation papers. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think, uh, and let me know what your predictions are. Do you think they're gonna do it this year? Do you think they're gonna drag it out to two years or worse, possibly three years? Which, insane. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.